Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another tutorial, this time for Winter Queen earrings. I'm showing them step by step, so I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are earring findings and jump rings. These are 80 beads in silver color, two colors of 11 OC beads, and three colors of super duo or twin beads that are blue, silver, and white. And I'm also using here monofilament that is 0.15 millimeters or 0.006 inches. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 or 10, whatever it's easier for you. And here I'm using scissors and flat nose pliers. And the flat nose pliers I use to attach my jump rings and my earring findings. And I also squeeze my monofilament to go through the eye of this needle. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I have here on my needle are six super dual beads and six silver 11 OC beads and I'm alternating them. Okay, so this is what you should take first. Then I'm going to slide it down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going two or three times with my tail thread through this loop then i'm pulling really gently and then what i want to do is to make one more knot then i'm going through this silver and through the following white super duo And as I'm exiting through the inner hole of this super duo, I'm going through the outer empty hole of the same super duo. Okay, in this way, guys, I'm changing direction. Here is where my thread is exiting out of now. And because I change directions, I want to flip my work like this and because I'm right-handed it's easier for me to go like this. And in my next step I'm taking two blue super duos and I go in the next empty hole of my following super duo. Then again And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, then I go through the white and through the following two blue beads, just like this. And again, what I want to do is to change directions. As I'm exiting from this blue bead, I'm going through its outer empty hole, zigzagging through it. And now my thread is exiting in this direction out of this hole. And again, because I'm changing directions, I want to flip my work like this. And I'm going to take three white beads and I go in the following blue. 
then I take one silver and I go in the following blue. Three white beads go in the following white, uh, in the following blue, sorry. One silver super dual go in the following blue. Three whites go in the blue. One silver go in the blue again. Okay. And I'm going to continue this, guys, until the end of this row, and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step, where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Now, in my next step, I want to go through those white beads. Then here through the silver. Super do and again I'm changing directions by going through the outer empty hole of the same super do that I'm exiting out of. And again I want to flip my work and I take four white beads, one silver eight-o and four white beads, and I go in the next silver super duo. Okay, then again. And again. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Then I'm going through all of the four beads here. Take three blue beads. I skip here the central one and I go through the following two. And I take a blue super duel, a white bead and a blue super duel. And I skip the next two whites and go through the following two like this. Take three blue beads, skip the central silver one and go like this. Take the same sequence, skip these two after this silver one and go through the following two. Three blue beads, skip the central one, go through the next two. Three again, skip these two here and go through the next two. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here to tell you what's coming up next. Okay my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Now what I want to do is go here through the first of those three blue beads that I added in my previous step. Okay, I'm exiting after this bead. And I need three white beads. I'm skipping the central one and I'm going here in this blue. Then I take one of those beautiful eight-o beads and I go here through the empty hole of the next super duel. Then I take one silver super duel and three white beads. And I slide those down. Okay. 
this is what I have. And now guys, I go through the empty hole of this silver super duo and through the empty hole of the next blue super duo. Okay, and I have this. Then I take just one silver bead, HO, and I go through this blue one. Take three white beads, skip the central one here, and go in the next blue. One silver. Go in the following. Then a silver and three white beads. Silver super duo and three whites. Slide it down turn it in this direction and go through the empty hole of this super duo and through the empty hole of the next blue super duo that's on my way. Then again a toe, go through the first blue, three white 11 os, skip the central one and go through the following One eight oh, go in the next super duo, silver super duo, and three white beads. Slide it down like this, turn it like this, go through its empty hole, and through the empty hole of the next blue. And I'm going to continue, guys, absolutely the same way until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat it and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row. Then what I want to do is go here and exit out of the middle of these three white beads and I take silver 11 o, silver 8 o, and silver 11 o, and I go backwards like this through this bead and I'm pulling And here what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread going twice through the loop I've made, pulling. Then I'm going through the following bead and I'm cutting this tail thread. And in my next step guys, what I want to do is to attach my earring finding and how I do this. I take this jump ring, I open this one up then I put it here inside this bit I take my earring finding and I put it like this and after that I squeeze back Okay, and this is what I have. Okay, guys, and now my Winter Queen seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't. You could also like, share and comment and give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.